the reach expands. The grasping monster feels his way in the dark. The darkness is a product of the monster. The monster is controlled by a collection of monsters who created the impetus for it. This is a cold hard fact in the cold hard daylight of temporary end times. People believe you can do various things to treat with evil. Some think you can reason with it. Evil loves to seem reasonable until it can get into position to act unreasonably. Some think you can make lasting and honest deals with evil. Some think you can swim with the flow until some shoreline appears to grant you safe harbor. There is only one thing you can do in terms of evil, and that is to resist its appearance inside of you. The purpose of global evil in times of darkness is to induce the evil within us to rise up and resonate with it. It achieves this through our weaknesses, appetites and shortcomings. It's not difficult to get the mass of humanity in thrall through saturation media along with bread and circuses. That's why they don't want you stockpiling food. The whole present climate of the culture is orchestrated. It's a many pincered movement, from Bill and Melinda's vaccine eugenics to the monster who serves the monsters. When we say that something is monstrous, we refer to behavior or conditions which are unacceptable to our usual perception of the human estate. When some force creates conditions or behavior in a way outside of the acceptable parameters of behavior, it is extreme. It can become monstrous. It is also monstrous to define your behavior as acceptable when it is not. And to work relentlessly to discourage and resist any and all attempts to curb that behavior or modify the terrible conditions put into place by monsters. The march of the monsters is a slow and steady treading. It is an international march that is actually driving humanity into the sea. At no time has anyone ever taken over the whole world, and no one ever will. This means that something other than the intentions of those seeking to is going to be the final result. What it also means is that soon enough, nothing is going to be what it was before because everything before has been altered and been seemingly under the control of certain monsters. You are getting hosed in your clothes by a naked emperor. What keeps people where they are? Attractions and attachments keep them there.
tailor's fashion suits that conceal the dimensions of the form beneath it. These suits don't come cheap, and neither do the indulgences that lead to the need for such a suit. It's possible that, one day, you just step off course and right on to the wrong course, going nowhere with the promise of everything, but, most of the time, it is a game of inches and moments, and you can't name the point at which it finally all turned to shit. You can hide the form beneath the suit, but you can't hide the star-spangled noses and the cast of the eyes.